Hello. Yes, the fight goes on. That's right. Very disappointed with the vote I got last night. 51 votes was it? I came last. Last year I came third. I beat the Tories, Lib Dems and uh, Liberals. Steve Radford's Liberal Party. He's quite a good councillor and probably the best councillor in the city. Um, they even beat me. So I don't know what went wrong. Maybe me leaflets, I'll leave a screenshot at the end. Maybe it was a bit too harsh. It was too personalised and attacking the Labour councillors. Maybe people thought I was bullying them. I don't know. I don't know. I spoke to one last night and he seemed a nice guy and they're probably trying to do the best under difficult circumstances. However, like I've said before, they've remained silent and you know you have, right? And the more third wielding Kensington and Fairfield becomes, the more it's going down the pan. And you, you know that. You can't be that soft where you don't know it, right? You can't be. You, you know what's going to happen, but, you know, what can you do, I suppose you say. But so maybe my attack was too harsh, too direct, too personalised. But I thought I was going to pick up anger in the ward when... I believe now, with hindsight, that anger's now turned to apathy. Also, the low turn, I, was, I can't remember what it was now. I'll try and get the figures for the next video, but it'll probably only be in the, in the 20s. I was looking at some of the results that were coming up on a screen. as someone on like 22% and whatever. Christ, you know, 78% of the people aren't voting. So they're the ones, you know... I've got to mobilise. Uh, even Paul Kangley, snitch face Paul Kangley for the security service, hope not hate or whoever. Even his vote dropped last time. I think he got 250. He got like 161, was it, something. So even his vote dropped, right? So I don't know the Brexit fiasco, whether or not that's played any part in it. I, I don't know. I honestly, honestly don't know. But that's politics for you, you know. You can't give up and roll over. Oh, I come last and, uh, you know, you, you've got to just get back in there and learn from your mistakes. Because obviously I've made mistakes because of my votes dropped by over 50%. So something's gone wrong and I, I think it may have been myself. Also as well, I didn't get all the ward leafleted. I had problems with my leaflets and the printers and... I had to get some new leaflets printed and then I'm short for leafleters. So some of the ward I didn't even cover. I'm not making excuses because I'll never do that. I'm a realist, mate, Joe Owens. I'll face reality here because you've got to do that. You can't make excuses. But I didn't leaflet the whole ward. Mm. And like I've said, I was hoping to pick up anger in the ward, you know, as to what's been done to them. But it's now turned to apathy and also as i've said most of the people not all most of the people there now are not original uh residents that were born and bred there and remember their happy childhood days there you know they're not a guy that helps me leaflet mark he was born in Sutcliffe street and uh, every time we venture there he looks around and he, he's, he's saddened as to what's happened you know, to an area he once called home that he was proud to live in, proud to grow up in, and it's, it's destroyed, it's finished, you know. But the vast majority, 70-odd percent, right, didn't vote. So they're the ones that you can just rally their apathy into anger or into action, action's the word, Maybe there'll be a better result next time. Because I'm not going away. Did you think I was going away? Did you? No, it's not happening. That You know, come on. You're talking to Joe Owens now. You know, come on. Also, people at the count, you know you all come over talking to me. I'm not going to entertain people who are associating with uh, police informers and uh, agents of the secret state that infiltrate political parties and whatever. You you know you are, and you know you would associate with. Also, you push the Tommy Robinson Roadshow, the Paul Golden Roadshow. Look at that stupid Tommy Robinson. Tommy Little Legs Rom Robinson getting two milkshakes thrown over him. I mean, again, it's probably all choreographed 
by him, him and his controllers. If, you, if you're pushing all that nonsense, then don't come over talking to me, right? They don't want to know. It's all nonsense. It's childish rubbish. Our opponents, our enemies are all setting up to demonise our cause, our message, and keep us all entertained on the internet watching Tommy Robinson get milkshakes thrown over him and whatever. You've got to all snap out of all that nonsense reality TV. Got to get back in there in the community, right? It's like that. There's a councillor here in Liverpool, Steve Radford. He's probably the best councillor in the city, right? He's a living embodiment that you can get things done, right? So just a bit of hard work and the right message. I think my message was wrong this time, but I don't know. Brexit and apathy and I just don't know, but... The fight goes on. Okay, thank you.